Hello friends, today I am going to explain about menus. First of all in Android projects, when do we use menus? To make a selection from multiple options, we use menus. And why do we use menus? Because they are less prominent and they do not take your screen space. Okay, now in Android there are two types of menus. Drop down menus and exposed drop down menus. In drop down menu, again there are three types of menus overflow menu, context menu, and pop up menu. So, today in this video, I will explain how to create drop down menus and how to handle menu on click events. First, let me open the project. Currently, I have just created two files to, to handle menus one is menus.java file, and another one is menus.xml file. So, when I run the project, it looks like this. So, it is a blank activity. Now, first let us create the overflow menu. For this, we have to create a menu resource file. So, go to resource, right click, create new Android resource file. Here, select resource type as menu and give file name as menu overflow because I am going to create overflow menu. So, XML file is created inside menu folder. Now, open the file and start adding items. Here I am adding some menu options which I wanted to display as overflow menu on the action bar. Created an item with uh, refresh and uh, settings. Next uh, help and another one is feedback. These are the overflow menu options I have created. Now we have to mention this menu in the code. So, go to the menu.java file and override the method on create options menu and declare the overflow menu id. Declare the menu inflator object and uh, set inflator.inflate menu resource id that is uh, overflow menu id. Currently, if you see there is no menu on action bar, now run the project. You can see three dots over action bar and on clicking that three dots icon you can see the overflow menu items just now whatever we have created. Now let us see how to create context menu. So here I am going to create a text view. On long pressing of this text view I wanted to display context menu. Now change the text. This is an example for context menu and change the text size. Now uh, run the project. So the text view is created. Give a proper ID for this text view because we are going to register this view for context menu. Now go to the Java file, declare the text view. text view context text view equal to find view by id now pass this text view object to the register for context menu method this is very important otherwise your context menu will not get displayed now the same way how we have created on create options menu we have to override on create context menu create menu inflator and uh, uh, pass um, menu id but here we haven't created uh, uh, context menu yet so the same way how we have created overflow menu we have to create context menu so go to menu and create menu resource file here i am giving file name menu context so inside menu context you have to add items whatever the uh, menu items you wanted to give for your context menu you, can, you have to add those items here. So because it is a text, I am giving cut, copy, paste as menu items and pass that menu ID to the menu inflator. Now run the project. So here when you select, when you long press the text view, you can see the context menu. Cut, copy, paste. But now here I wanted to show the selection of the text. 
so for this go to design mode and here uh, you you have text is selectable attribute so set it to true this is just size issue so i'm fixing it now run the project so when i double click on the text i can see the selection also and i can see the context menu also now we will go to the next menu type that is pop-up menu for this i am creating a button on click of that button i wanted to show pop-up menu so drag the button and give a proper id for this button and give proper text and change the size and uh, fix the constraints now run the project now the button is created but on click of this button nothing is happening currently but we have to show pop-up menu here now go to the menu and create first menu resource file the same as how we have created for overflow and context menus and here you have to add items so i am adding pop-up items here menu items inside menu popup.xml Okay, pop-up menu XML is created. Now, go to menu.java file. Here, you don't have a override method for pop-up menu like options menu and context menu. So, we have to create a method. Here, I am creating public void method to show pop-up menu. And select this method as on-click action for the button. Here on selecting on click attribute, you can see show pop up menu under menus. So select that method. Now come back to show pop up menu method in Java file. Create pop up menu object. Create menu inflator for pop up menu. And pass menu resource ID to the inflator. At the end, add pop up menu dot show method. Now run the project. See the pop-up menu is getting displayed on click of format button. So you can see the same options whatever we have mentioned in menu underscore pop-up dot xml. So these are the different types of menus that is overflow menu and context menu and pop-up menu. We can customize these menus using styles means you can change the menu background color, background shape and menu items text color and text size etc but for now i will show you how to customize shape of the menu background here it is rectangle let's change it to rounded rectangle for this create a drawable file with root element shape in this i am adding background solid color as white this you can change to any color you want Corner radius I am, I am giving 16 dp because I wanted rounded rectangle box and some padding I am adding that is uh, around 5 dp I am adding. After creating this drawable we have to mention this in the themes.xml file. Now go to res folder and under values open themes.xml file. If you don't have this file you can create one. Now inside this main app theme style tag you have to create pop-up menu background item. So for this pop-up menu background set the drawable whatever we have created just now that is menu background menu underscore background and this particular style element you have to mention in the android manifest file this you would already be knowing without this it won't take any effect. Now run the project see overflow menu background changed and context menu background also changed but pop-up menu background not changed so this pop-up menu style we have to handle in different way 
so add pop up menu style in the styles and now let me create a separate style for pop up menu with the parent style material components dot pop up menu inside the style element specify menu background drawable as pop up background and set this particular pop up bg style to the pop up menu style under the main theme style so run the project now see here you can see the pop up menu background has changed to rounded rectangle so this way you can customize the menus using styles now we will see how to handle on click action for these menus here if you see on overflow menu if you click any option nothing is happening right so we will handle on click action for this overflow menu for this we have to override on options item selected method inside this we have to handle the action for each menu item id so create a switch case and take the item dot get item id and check for um, options id so here we have refresh and settings help and feedback so i am taking all those four options and on each selection each item selection i am showing a toast message here you can add whatever code you wanted to execute on clicking those particular menu item so for now i am giving a toast message so on selection of option refresh i am showing length short dot show now take this i am copy pasting for other uh, menu items also and changing the text now run the project here on clicking on those options you can see the toast message so on click on feedback you can see on selection of feedback message now the same way we have to handle it for context menu also so override on context item selected method and i'm just copy pasting the same thing because the same way we are going to handle for context menu also take the item id and compare with your context menu ids cut copy paste so i'm changing the text also for this now run the project click on context menu here you can see the toast message on clicking of context menu item so click on copy you can see on selection of copy message now let's handle pop up menu action this menu on click action we are going to handle in a different way because we don't have override methods like on options item selected or on context item selected so we have to set listener for pop up menu here select set on menu item click listener pass new on menu item click listener inside this on menu item click we have to handle pop up menu item click events so for this i am creating a method on pop up menu click on pop up menu click and pass the parameter menu item return true and call this particular method in our uh, on menu item click and handling the menu item action is same so i'm copy pasting here uh, in on pop up menu click method and uh, changing the ids to pop up menu ids bold italic underline and uh, one more is there strike through so handle on click event now run the project see when you click underline you can see the toast message so this is how you can handle on click events for overflow menu and context menu and also pop up menu now let us see how to create sub menus here for example i am taking context menu to add sub menu so open context menu resource file add another item delete 
So I want to add submenu for this menu item. So create menu tag inside this item and add submenu items. I am adding two items. One is move to trash and another one is remove permanently. Now run the project. See, you can see an arrow mark for delete item. On click of delete, you can see the submenu. Same way, you can add submenus for pop-up menu and overflow menu. So, hope you understood how to create menus and how to handle on-click actions. Put a positive comment if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.